All right, kids, here we go. We're off on our tutu making adventure and we're about to head off to Fabric Land. Um, so, can't talk and drive at the same time and I don't have a little thing on my dashboard or whatever. So, I'll see you in a couple of minutes when we're at Fabric Land and we're gonna start looking for some shit. All right, see you in a minute. All right, so we just got back in the car from being in Fabric Land. I totally forgot the video. I was so excited when I saw the things of Tool on for like 60% off. So, this is what I got. It's craft netting, but it'll still work. It's 10 bucks for the whole roll, and they're 60% off right now if you're a member at Fabricland. So, this was four bucks. Okay, get yourself like a headband or some elastic, something to tie it around, and you can make your tutu for like five or six dollars. Um, I also got this one. This is tall. They don't have very many colors. I'll glow in the black light, but they did have a couple of these really bright lime apple greens, and this one should glow. Uh, this is also 60% off. This price tag is $7.49. This one is tool, and it's usually made for making the tutus. Um, so I'm going to be mix match and tool and craft netting and whatever because it's the right colors. I can put it in strips and we can do some shit with it. So, yeah. All right, well, um, <laughs> see you at home when we start building our tutu, yes. Hi everybody, so here we are making our tutus for our little event on Unicorn Aerial Blacklight Night. Uh, so what I did was, you saw from the little clip before, we have this netting. Now I have purchased both netting and tool and they give you different results. So I wanted mine short and spiky and nice and stiff. So that stuff's labeled as craft netting, and I have cut strips that are about 18 inches long. Okay, now, the longer the strip, the longer the tutu, and the drippier it will hang. Now, the shorter it is and the crustier the netting, then the more it's going to stick out and be rigid. So you take your fabric, fold it in half, and pinch it at the fold line. And I'm going to take and loop my finger in like this. Okay, so I've just looped it around my finger. And now I'm going to take this. And as you can see on my mannequin, um, I'll pull it further, closer together. So I've picked up this elastic at Fabricland. And it has all these holes in them. You can also find pre-made headbands that are already made out of the same stuff. Um, but depending on what you're paying for the headband, sometimes if you've got a membership or a discount, it's just easier to go and get meters of it at the fabric store when it's on like buy one, get two meters free. So we're going to anyways take, you can use a hook. You don't need a hook. You can just use your finger. Okay, take it, make the hole bigger with your other hand. So I take my middle finger behind and I actually pull down with the tip of my finger and fingernail, stuff the other piece through, pull it through the back side. Find where the separation is in the loop of the fabric, and then you're going to pull the tails through the loop and cinch it out. Now, as you can see, I've already done a whole bunch all the way around because I didn't want to waste your time making um, stuff that you can already see. So once you get going with it, it really doesn't take very long. I do this when... Um, Right before bed, when the hubby is watching something stupid on TV, like Ice Road Truckers, or Pawn Stars, or um, Ink Masters, or whatever, all that other good stuff. I mean, sometimes I watch it, but hey, you don't really need to watch it. You can listen to it and get the gist. So I sit there and I make shit. And this round is our tutu. Okay, so once I'm done this row, I am going to probably finish going up because I like a really full tutu. Do you need to? Depends on how much of a poof you want. Okay, so uh, be back in a couple minutes. Okay, everybody, now that we're on the second row, now we do want some type of a hook. You can use a latch hook or a large crochet hook. Um, but I don't know if you can see this, but so we've got some holes here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hook Put it in on the bottom and push it out through this loop here. So let's see if I can pull this a little bit closer. I'll try and hold it at an angle while I do this. So I've got my tool. I'm folding it in half. Ah, there goes my mannequin. Okay. 
Here are the two holes that I'm going to go through. Wait, where are they? Here they are. So I'm not going to go in the one that has already been used from the first layer. I'm going to go one row up, pull it out, okay, stick it through just like that. Hook the fabric, give a pull here, and look, you've got your loop. Same as the first row, pull the tails through. Now once you get going at this, it doesn't really take too long. And I will do a couple here so that you can see. I want to say I can make one of these tutus in about, mm, I don't know. If I've already got all of my strips cut, then it'll only take maybe about 20, 30 minutes or so. Now, of course, that is 20 minutes of your life. You'll never get back, but at the end of the day, you've got a tutu either for yourself or for a little one. Okay, so um, yeah, I'm gonna finish this off. Okay, everybody, so here we are. I finished the second row all the way around. And doesn't it look adorable? Let's just back it up. So, see poop. So there is a two layer. I did two rows around there. Now some frequently asked questions. But Crystal, does it matter if all of my pieces are the exact same length? Do I need to measure them? No. Uh, hey Crystal, does it matter if I get the fold right in half and that's the part that loops and that each side is perfect? No. I purposely guesstimated every single piece and just approximately folded it in half, stuffed it, whip, whip, whip. Um, and you can see that it doesn't really matter. It actually kind of adds to the extra poofiness. Um, so yeah, we're also gonna make little hair scrunchies. We can make like unicorn manes, um, wonderful collared tutu style bustles for around our, our neck or little shrugs for around our neck. And I think I might make some little ankle poofs too. So, you know, ankle poofs and like wrist poofs. And then I could feel like a prize little unicorn. <laughs> I can't wait to toss the hair around. <laughs> All right, guys. See you in class.